Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I know normally I like to kind of already have like the game up. However, uh, as I learned mere moments ago when I tried to load this file, we go right into a cutscene um, that I have no control over the dialogue on. So we're, we're just gonna dive right in there. Be ready, cause we're, we're fucking going, okay? Be, be prepared, lesson learned. Ugh, you have disgraced me for one last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Even then, I wasn't ready for the dialogue. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. Don't look at these dudes. Oh, shit. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Oh! Ah! The warrior's swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. <laughs> Gee, I, won I wonder who who's still standing in that. Is it maybe the Dark Messenger? Are they maybe the, the one who... Who's, because the episode is called the... Anyway, it's October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right in Co. Law Offices. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! I love this music. This is incredible. Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick! I, I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? <laughs> this cover is so good! Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Jesus, he's young as hell. I'm the old man here. Fuck, dude. God, I can I can feel my, I can feel the wrinkles begin to develop on my skin as I read shit like this. Oh no. I'm old! <laughs> Listen, youngsters, you're gonna be like me one day. It's gonna be miserable. You're gonna hate it. Then watch it with me. He's really cool. And and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. See, when you start saying shit like this, that's when you start to become old, Phoenix. You don't say kids these days unless you're an old person. Cramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I gonna pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Oh, what the hell? Bro, you're not up at 8.14? Come on, dude. H Hello? This is Phoenix. D D Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? <laughs> like, isn't that his job in the show? Like, come on. Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it! In real life! He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. Yo, that's fucking awesome. Don't do this. You should never. Look, murder is always bad. Every single time without a shadow of a doubt. That's pretty fucking sick, though. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick. Please, Nick. 
October 16th, 9.22. Jesus Christ, Phoenix. It took you like an hour to get here? Come on, dude. How fucking far is this place? Maya's here watching television. I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe he spent some time getting ready. He didn't leave immediately. Even then, like an hour commute isn't really that unrealistic. No, but hold on. Gumshoe was able to get here in three fucking minutes. What is your excuse, Phoenix? What the fuck? Yeah, like, okay, maybe it took you an hour if you live way outside of town or something. How the fuck did Gumshoe get here in literally 180 seconds? Come on. Maya's here watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. <laughs> Yo, straight out of Baki? Jack Hammer himself? Damn. <laughs> Does he do a lot of steroids and, and surgery to make it? Anyway, I'm not gonna prattle on about this who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over, the world is over! Oh, it's her phone. Yes, right in code law offices. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick! Go, go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. I mean, like... How, how's this going? You say a potted plant. My, oh, it is new dialogue. Let's go. Maya's been watering it so much lately, it looks a little... swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. <laughs> it's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. Then I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Yeah, that's that's a little unfortunate. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. Hey, you'll figure it out, guy. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Okay, well, um, what did what did do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. This feels like a bit just for her to get this dude's autograph or something. Like, <laughs> does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information! <laughs> alright, alright, we'll go to the detention center. We'll go talk to the Steel Samurai. October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh my god, look at Jesus! He's a lion man, damn! What's wrong, Maya? It's him! In the flesh! Um... Is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him! Will Powers, our client! That's him! Um... Maybe I shouldn't be saying this... But he definitely did it! Murder! At least once! Maybe twice! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um, yes? Something wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. 
No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai, with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I, I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> he just straight up cries, dude. Damn. That's a that's a heart wrencher. And then think of the children, Phoenix. The children, Nick. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. <laughs> okay, well, he went from killing one guy to probably two to... Nah, there's no shot he could have done it. Hey, buddy. So, like, what the fuck happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. I yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was... <laughs> what? Let me try that again. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. And there was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around, the staff gathered at the studio. The evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Jesus. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewed with the Samurai Spear. The Samurai Spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... that the Steel Samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is? Dick, how can you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I, I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Dude, who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9 o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. And rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. I'm surprised she didn't hear. Oh, hold on. I want to look at the guard again, though. See, I have anything new? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Will Powers. Smile for the camera. Yeah, okay, that's about it. Shocker. All right, well, let's go check out the uh, the scene of the crime. Well, we're at the main gate currently. October 16th, Global Studios main gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, you there! You want in, you gotta get through me, or go through me. Oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. 
Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Use today. Something horrible happens while you're wasting your time. Don't you have jobs you should be doing? Or do lawyers not work like the rest of us? Maybe I should be a lawyer too. Sounds like a life easier to work in place. I was young things and you don't mind prints in straight chippy clothes. Where the young community and my son hasn't called. Holy shit, I was not ready. You can't just do that to me. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was going to die there as my life was flashing before my eyes. Holy shit. She just took the fuck off. Good God. All right. Now that I'm mentally prepared that this might happen, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Um, Nick, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey, listen when you're being spoken to. Use today. Oh, God bless. All right, well, let's look around first. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching! Okay, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. Surely there's some legal process we could go through to get, you know, the right to be, though we're not detectives. Like, I, I don't know, I don't actually know how this works. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? <laughs> Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? Dumb dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. <laughs> I thought.
thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. <sighs> this lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Well, I don't have that. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the fucking detention center, I guess. Get a letter of request. Hello? How is the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? It, no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? R right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, uh... So, yeah, let's talk about your alibi a bit more. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? No, that's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I'm sorry. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um... My bet is that she saw someone dressed as the Steel Samurai and just assumed it was him. Because she's like, oh, well, that has to be him. No one else would wear his costume. That's, that's my guess. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, uh, the security lady. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks up all the bigwigs. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let let up to you. Let up on you, Jesus. Oh my God. She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Hours request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Got anything else? Nope. All right. Moving back. Back to the studio. Anyway. Oh, can I talk about anything else? No. Okay. Here you go. Take a look at this. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes, I recognize this bold, childish scrawl. Power's request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studio. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, for my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cent a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents. Guide map of Global Studios added to the court record. Why are you selling maps of the studio? That doesn't make any damn sense. Can I look at this? So what? So here's the gate that we're at. No, we're at the main gate up here at the top. Okay. So to the left is the employee area. If we go to the right, there is a normal gate and then two different studios. The dressing room is over here. Got it, okay. I don't think I really have enough to infer anything from that yet, but might as well just head on to Studio One. Jesus, look at this place. What the fuck happened to the statue? October 16th, Studio One entrance. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah, it's, it, it's that confused detective. 
Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Oh, poor guy. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. I don't know, that was pretty fucked up. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can't blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character traits. <laughs> the script was especially written for me to say pal. You can't steal. It's the only thing I have anymore. Come on. I'd say he's a character, all right. So, uh, how's the investigation going? <laughs> I'm actually psychic, by the way. It's incredible. I, I don't know. I, I can't explain my powers to mere mortals like you all. Um, this is what happens when you're actually 17,000 rats in a trench coat. We just know, all right? Like, our collective knowledge and information gathering prowess is way superior than you could ever understand. But anyway, so how is your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Uh... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So, uh, detective, mind if I take a look at what you've got? What I got? The autopsy report. Th the latest version, if you please. Hmm. Right, right. <sighs> Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Autopsy report added to the court record. I mean, I don't think it's his fault. Like, he gave me the most up-to-date autopsy report at the time, and then Edgeworth had another one done between then and the trial. That's not his fault. Gumshoe fucked up a lot, don't get me wrong, but the autopsy report was literally not his fault. He did the best he could there. Now, should he have given us Maya's phone? Absolutely not. That was a terrible decision. There are a lot of bad choices made, but... Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. <sighs> Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady, what a charmer. Huh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. <laughs> she even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. I told you it was some, it's just some other guy in the fucking costume. So for some reason, people can't understand that anyone can wear clothes. Believe it or not, literally anyone can just put on clothes. It, it's crazy, I know, but it's, it's an insane thought. But if I wanted to, I could put on the steel samurai outfit. That doesn't make me Will Powers, all right? Like, come on. I could put on Detective Gumshoe's coat. All 17,000 rats of me could squirm around in there. I'm not Detective Gumshoe, like, <laughs> Christ. 
what? Who took? Yeah, and who's taking this photo? That's a very good question. And why? Why were they taking this photo? Oh, it was a security camera footage. Okay, okay. I thought this was literally someone just got out their cell phone and they're like, oh, look at that. The Steel Samurai is heading over to the studio. <laughs> like, what the fuck? See that camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by that, the camera automatically snaps a photo up. Oh, no. Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? Hey, you seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. I guess that seems you don't look so happy when you say that. Or no, don't look so happy when you say that. I understand now. He's like, hey, don't be so happy that I'm upset. <laughs> um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Uh, go wherever you like. Of course, uh, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to the place! Now's our chance to check things out! Is there anything else I can talk to you about? No. Um, I want to look at some things here, though. Hey, there's a camera here. And that's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on- oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so sorry. Between Gumshoe and the old lady's voice, <laughs> my voice is killing me. All right, all right. Had to take a sip of water there. Also, this is Phoenix reading this line. There's a number plate on the camera, ST1-307. That must be the camera ID number. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Oh, me, I'm so sorry. What the fuck happened here, by the way? The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio One, left to Studio Two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down too with it. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, what's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah. Uh, that way is kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. And that's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Uh, I want to check out Studio 2. There might be important things there. The entrance to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick! Hey, it's locked! It looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Hmm. So we can't actually go into the studio yet. Well? Oh, I have to go back to the fucking main cave. God damn it. Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough that she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Oh my god. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Ugh. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. He 
these things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 p.m. Murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai. Everything's a samurai show, dude. That's all they do here. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera? Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? And it snaps a photo. Now, apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Uh, can I look at them? Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? Probably not. You're gonna get mad about it, but yeah, no. No touching. Okay. So I want to check the time on that. That seems very relevant. Um... Yeah, let's go to the employee area. October 16th, Global Studios employee area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. H hey, look, there's Power's dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. I uh, agree completely. What the fuck's going on here? A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Yeah, but clearly this isn't actually his room because they just fucking taped a piece of paper up on it. it. They don't have like an official plaque or anything. That feels kind of bad. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. Hmm. That, that, oh, wait, wait, the samurai soda? No. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered. This is yesterday's lunch? They just leave their fucking lunch when they're done with it on the table? You don't throw that shit away? What the fuck is wrong with you all? Clean up after yourselves, assholes! Okay, you know what they found? That, well, no, how did you, what, did you go run to the body? Just go check the studio? Right? I don't know, I'm not giving them a buy yet. Clean up after yourselves, you freaks. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? Understandable. I fucking refined taste. Jesus. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? 
I don't know, just these random piles of lumber over here or something. The laundry here, I guess. What the fuck is this thing? What am I even looking at there? All right, let's go in the dressing room. October 16th, Global Studios dressing room. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Hmm. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. I mean, yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. I... What's in this bag? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. Uh, that must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow? Card key added to the court record. Uh, I wonder if there's... Can I check the logs of what card keys went into the studio? That would be very interesting to me, but I don't know if they'll have that. There's some regular suits here in and among the costumes here. Or some regular suits in among the costumes here. And those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh! This is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, try this on! No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda? There's nothing wrong with that. They always have mirrors in, like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. Hmm. Not a lot. Oh, the tea set? The tea set? There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? Apparently a lot. I, you know, never mind, I'm gonna refrain from making that. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. I'm just gonna say something and I'm gonna hold my tongue. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. Damn, is that really all we're going to get here? I guess we got the, the card, but I thought there might be more clues. Nope. Well, time to head over to the, uh, well, can I talk to you about anything else? No. All right. Later, loser. I'm heading over to the fucking studio. Oh, can I talk to you about anything new? Nope. All right. Anyway. Oh, wait. No. Do I have to present the card key? Hey, detective, take a look at this. What's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't show him that. He'll confiscate it. Oh, I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> that's that's pretty fair. <laughs> so do I just... How, do I examine? Is this how I go in? The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this cart key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. Yeah, okay, so I just got it. Okay. It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Well, I would like to go inside Studio One, please. October 16th, Studio One. What is it? You're really quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. No, that's fucked up, Phoenix. The evil magistrate didn't die here. Jack Hammer died here, all right? Like, let's call him by his actual fucking name. That's the least we can do. And the seal samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Well, let's look at the tape. It's the obvious one. 
They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lie with lay with tape. His body was still found inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny. I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. That's a very good point. I guess the costume must have absorbed, uh, must have absorbed most of it. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in! I've always wanted to sit in one of these chairs. Hey, Nick, take a look at that! One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. A and look, a, a megaphone! A real live megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. She's doing her best, Nick. All right, come on. She's doing her best. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry, this girl is out there. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Hey, you! No touching that! Who is this? Oh, hello. Uh, um, sorry. My partner is kind of... You know... You know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who? Me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers, WP. I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us! Hmm, well, I want to keep looking around here first. Wow, look at that camera! We just did this bit, so don't touch it. It's heavier than I thought. Okay, yeah, I guess... Well, this is the this is the camera, and these are the lights, by the way, but whatever. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the mountain, Neo Fujiyama! Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in Old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo. Oh, right. <laughs> My bad, whoops, Neo Old Tokyo. It's completely different. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. All right, uh, hello, Penny. I have some questions for you. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Uh, yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Uh, yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where... Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to read name tags more. Uh, the employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. Jeez, look at them. How come he's practicing in this, like, in his... No, that isn't his co uh, costume. This is just what he fucking wears, I guess. Never mind. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? 
what kind? No, no, I, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Um, uh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to this, I love how she just casually starts calling him WP. That's great. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks! That helps us a lot! Anything helps! Let's go put that security lady on the spot! So, you sense that someone other than the regular film crew is in the studio? Yes, I think... I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them! I mean, that's that's pretty true. I don't think I want to show you anything. Yeah, I don't. Hey, take a look at the autopsy report. Like, who fucking cares? Let's go talk to the security lady. Back to the main gate. October 16th, Global Studios main gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Hey, uh... Anyone else coming in here? What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eh. All right, you better tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you young'uns are like that nowadays, rumping your mouths like there was no tomorrow, saying that and the other thing when I was young, telling you a new thing to about respecting your girls back then when it was a crime scene used to say, poor old lady. Ah! Oh, damn, I, I feel like I was almost there with it. I was so ready, I was like, she's about to pop off, but damn, it's so quick. It's so fast, dude. She left. Well, Nick? This is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. That's true, we can go take a look at the friggin' PC over here. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Ah, nah, leave it alone. What do you mean? Of course you should. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? A computer? I, I would hope. It looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Uh, oh god, I don't remember if it was 307 or 370. I think it was 307. 
entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. Huh? How is this a picture? Oh, that's Maya, Jesus Christ. How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printing on the back. Something's printed on the back. Huh. October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Powers, question mark, photo added to the court record? What the fuck happened to the first photo? That's insanely suspicious. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this as photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Uh, anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? I don't know. Oh, maybe. Oh, I just noticed uh, that the photo, the in that photo, the outfit seemed really fucking big on that person. Like the pant legs were way too fucking short. So Will Powers was way taller than whoever the hell was actually in that. But anyway, this is where we're gonna end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the official store page. You can get the game for yourself if you want to do so. And if you made it this far with me, I really. Truly appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, or your night, or whatever time it is, and I'll see you again next time. Good bye.